Yeah, yeah, you got a motion boom. You're walking down the road, you're holding up, you say, look, I've got Alan Ross, pound for pound world champion. You think you own the place. Somebody else comes out of the house, they say, yeah, excuse me, I've got two motion booms. And you're thinking, how much better can that be than my one pound for pound world champion? You've now got two pound for pound world champions. I hope you know by now. If you take one speaker, you get a second speaker. What have you got? Six dec In theory, you've got six decibels more in sheer volume. Why? Well, because you've doubled the surface area of your drivers. That gives you three decibels more. And you've doubled your power. Gives you another three decibels more. Lovely things happen when you double up your speakers. And what we're going to do in this video is... We've already heard a single Alan Ross Pound for Pound World Champion motion boom against a single Go Plus Play. The Go Plus Play. Oh, what a shocker. The more expensive, the bigger speaker came out the winner. Who'd have thought that? But now we've got two of them. We've got two Pound for Pound World Champions. We've not just doubled our Pound for Pound World Champions six decibels more. Can that make up the difference? No, come on, because that's still... What's that? Is that 240 quid on paper? It's about $220. So even if you've got two of the motion booms, you've only spent about 160 quid. Come on. They know how they price these speakers. They're not going to mess about. They're going to they make sure it can beat two motion booms. So it's going to be a very, very short video because obviously there's only one winner here. And just to find out who it is, about 50% volume, we're going to go straight into the test. there well we, we had a pair of them we separated them wide and wow it's certainly more immersive than a single go plus play it's making the, a single go plus play sound quite narrow small and compressed but okay the highs are still better on the go plus play remember where we are around 40 50 percent on the motion boom with my custom settings is not a sweet spot it is there is a lot of bass adjustment on the motion boom so it's gonna be quite bass heavy. And the result of that bass heavy uh, adjustment, loudness curve, as they call it, loud, the old loudness button that we had in the old days, is that it's quite bass heavy, but it sounds quite smooth, but it lacks clarity compared to the Go Plus Play, which has more clarity, more definition, but hey, sounds a bit narrower, a bit thinner. We've got three decibels more in terms of, when the loudness adjusted, we've got three decibels more in total bass and in terms of Deep bass as well on the motion boom. He pays your money, he takes your choice. For me, it's so immersive compared to a single 
go plus play. That's still a winner. Yes, it does lack clarity. Uh, and that probably comes over in the A-Bs because you're not hearing it in the real world. But I hope you get some sense of that. Uh, certainly, if you're listening on headphones, you're not really going to get a huge sense of that on if you're listening on, uh, loud, on loud speakers, on normal speakers. But it does wonderful things, doesn't it? It's, it sounds really, really immersive. It sounds very smooth, but some people may say, well, it still lacks clarity. For me, the sheer immersiveness of what two booms can do against a Go Plus Play which st is still going to cost you more than two of these booms. It's a win, for, for my money, for two motion booms. So what happens when we go up in volumes? Is it going to suddenly sprout wings and fly and say, this is why I'm bigger and I'm going to kick some serious butt? Or two motion booms going to say, yeah, but remember, Alan was pound for pound world champion. We're not pound for pound world champions for nothing. So about 75% of volume. Don't want to miss you anymore. Just want to hold you like before, baby. Any sign could save my life. Cause I still keep falling down. I remember when we felt like we were way too young to die. Before you left, it was just you and I, you and me only. Need you with me only. But now I feel way too damn lonely. I was hoping to. things happen as you go up in volume. First of all, we're now more of a sweet spot for the motion booms in terms of the custom settings Alan Ross has set. I know you continue to come on my uh, comments and say, you don't know what you're doing, you made it sound terrible, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna tell you again, guys, Alan Ross reviews, what Alan Ross does at home. If you're not interested in what Alan Ross does at home, then fine. But it's no point telling me you don't like my uh, custom settings. I'm telling you, what I personally like. I'm not saying it's magic. However, it, comes up, it, it, it becomes balanced around 75% volume, where it wasn't quite so balanced at 50% volume. It sounds really great, but the other thing that happens is we're heading towards where bass starts tailing off, starts limiting. So although the bass itself is now uh, closer between a pair of motion booms and the Go Plus Play, uh, it's it's still in favour of the motion booms, but not quite as much at low volumes where actually it sounded a bit more, bit more muddy, but now it's more balanced. So it's closer. But one thing is that isn't close is the sheer immersive nature of two separated motion booms really, really comes alive and does magic things. I'm not saying it's hi-fi. I'm not saying this crushes everything in the audiophile world, but I'm saying for most of us in the real world, it sounds great but it's still slightly cleaner, still slightly clearer with a single Go Plus Play. But for me, 
that's not enough to say, in, in, in not even close enough to say, I'd rather have the more expensive single go plus play over two motion booms. So the next question is, what is the headroom on these two speakers? What happens at maximum volume? <laughs> So ultimately, two motion booms, not just louder, it's a lot louder. Overall, six decibels up on the Go Plus Play. And in terms of peaks, nine decibels up on the Go Plus Play. The difference is huge. However, the balance of the motion boom does change when you go to maximum volume. You can see minus 21 luffs for total bass, but minus 15 for mids. So the mids are now dominating by six decibels over the bass. And when you look at the Go Plus Play, Total base minus 24, mids tw minus 24. The balance is still there. So massively louder two motion booms, but you're losing some balance. It's becoming a little bit more tinny, although the base is still there, but not quite in balance now with the mids and the highs. The Go Plus Play not going anywhere near as loud, but retaining its overall balance. The biggest advantage in the base is in the upper base. Now the signature is changing, where it's five decibels up on the Go Plus Play for its upper base. But in terms of deep base, there's just the two decibels difference. So. In sheer bass terms, a pair of motion booms goes six decibels louder than a single go plus play. In terms of peak, it's 10 decibels. I mean, 10 decibels, remember, is actually, in perceived terms, doubling the actual perceived loudness volume. It's huge. The difference is big. But something to take on board is we've gone up from like 80% to 100%. We are getting the bass limiter cut in. And it is a thinner, a tinnier sound now at maximum volume, but it's a hell of a lot louder on the Go Plus Play, which retains its bass, doesn't change its sound much at any uh, volume level. And for some people, that would be a big plus. But in terms of sheer maximum volume, albeit losing some of the bass now and sounding a bit tinnier, it's much, much louder on a pair of sound called motion booms. So, I mean, throughout this video, uh, over, I have to say, it's for me, in terms of value, it's a pair of motion booms is a big, big winner. It's just at lower volumes, but that's using my custom settings. But even on default mode or on the motion boom, it will still sound a bit muddier than it will at louder volumes because there's a big bass adjustment. On, on the motion booms, that is not happening on the Go Plus Play. In, to, in the audiophile world, that's what they expect. They don't want um, uh, DSP. They don't want it to keep changing its sound or volumes. It's really messing with their heads because previous measurements that they did where they could have a single frequency response and with their sound power measurements and done in an echoic chamber they can make predictions from that blah 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 Sean Olive is in the home if you don't know who Sean Olive is he's the one who's done all the major research for Harmon Carden sitting at home saying yeah but now they've got bass limiters and all the work we did it was all going out the window well tough luck the takeaway is really rise, really great value uh, the clue was already in the fact Alan Ross Pound Pound World Champion and remains fantastic value. 160 quid versus about 220 quid. Sounds better. 
and it's still cheaper than a single Go Plus Play. I still like a single Go Plus Play, and in the real world, it may, may be more practical for you to take with you on your travels a single Go Plus Play. But we had to do it. We had to, we had to compare a pair of motion booms. Remember, you still got more clarity. It's not, it's not, oh, and everything's better. And it's all, uh, the world's so much better with a motion boom, a pair of motion booms, because it's still clearer on the Go Plus Play. But that isn't enough in any way, shape or form to make up the difference in immersive nature of a pair of booms. You asked for it, you got it. That was the, t the video. The takeaway is what I hope you already expected. Motion boom, if you get one, it's great value. And if you get two, it's still great value. Nothing has changed since the last video. If that was the same. I thank you for watching. See you in another video. I ain't got that life. I ain't got that life. Ain't no project wife, got my logic right, cause I'm not your type. I ain't got that life. I ain't got that life. Sorry, my heart ain't get it right. I'ma just live my life. I ain't about that. I ain't about that life. Uh.